Wisconsin's Johnny Davis had a tremendous sophomore season, becoming the Big Ten Player of the Year and a consensus All-American, among several other awards. A 6'5 off guard, Davis consistently impacted the game on both ends of the floor and displayed an infectious motor and will to lead his team to win. Over the course of the year, Johnny Davis cemented his status as one of the best defenders in the class, especially at the guard spot. The offense was of course going to attract most of the attention, but his defense might just be his best attribute. In fact, I'd say it's probably his calling card and what'll keep him on the floor, at least early on in the league. His ability to contain the ball out on the perimeter, use the cross step to beat guys to spots, and then get them to change directions is very good. He's someone who should be able to guard three positions at the next level given his combination of size, strength, and quickness. And it's important to mention that he did all of this while being far and away the number one offensive option on his team with a usage percentage of nearly 33. So I'd honestly be shocked if he's not, at least eventually, even better in a much different NBA role. His ability to navigate screens, recover, and get back into plays is one of the signature attributes of his game. We've talked about getting skinny, closing gaps, and continuing to stay in plays, and Johnny Davis did it about as well as you could ask at this level. And to Penn State, great resiliency. Gets to go. And this is not a, a vintage defensive team. Ivy prides himself on DeVoe against Davis again. DeVoe gives it up, trying to get back here, but Wisconsin's all over. He's a good help defender, making plays, digging at the ball, getting deflections, and having a good grasp of team defensive concepts. Now, he wasn't perfect, but you'll definitely take what he did here. Into the chest of Gilmore. They will develop to a good shooting team because they're going to realize the type of shots they get. For Nebraska, neither player may be around very long at their respective programs. Bonzo Plummer going. He only gets one shot. I think that's a ball. A rare turnover for the Badgers. Pick it. Around Bowman and Davis. Kick out to Washington on a drive rejected. Now getting into Davis offensively, he's a very strong driver with a solid first step who gets low to the ground to get downhill and he did a terrific job of using his body and getting to the basket and converting when he was there. This is something that should be applauded even if he had a tendency to settle at times and some other bumps that we'll talk about. Emotional player, yes, Xavier is. Johnson. Is stopping Davis! Johnny Davis, it's a bad cycle and a chance! From the field after starting Oh, for six, now Davis! Oh. A home run pass up to Davis, making a touchdown with the larceny. And Davis with the finish. Play by vote, propels the Badgers. Comes Davis to the rip. Puts the team to three run for the Badgers. Davis hunting for more, over Hunter. Off the theft to the wreck. Puts it there. Time off the clock. But Davis, though, has other ideas. I'll tell you what, Miller is playing some outstanding defense on the ball. Oh, Ooh. look at Davis <laughs> gets over here. But they feel like they have a better chance of stopping this guy. Wow. Davis on the Continue to be aggressive like this. Get to the basket. Get fouled. Great Davis again. He is there. That, that was a different type of closeout from Zach Eady, and now the defense breaks down, and that's a heck of a big time finish. Now, Johnny's most common area for shots was in the mid range, and he was one of the better and highest volume players here. Whether it was out of the pick and roll, a simple jab and go, attacking closeouts, or other self creation, he was comfortable getting to his spots and raising up even with a solid contest. We will talk a little more about where his game will and can go in terms of shot profile, but he was consistently impressive here, especially at his age. There aren't a ton of guys walking around who did make the tough ones, the turnaround leaners, and bump fades in the way that he did. And now the Badgers suddenly within two again. Wow, Davis trading paint with Stewart. Got the his shot. potential yet. They think there's even more in the tank there. He's been such a great distributor this year. Davis. 
He's only taken one shot. So many other guys are are doing their thing. There's a step back by Lake at some point. And here he is, Davis in the paint. Paying the lead points, nothing since. He's trying, and he got it. So Wisconsin right there giving Rucker some of its own medicine. And Davis tonight brought to you by SoFi. Davis, turn around. Wow. And I'd actually have to give a slight edge. Oh, they're thrilled with that response. And well, we knew that Michigan State would be sharp tonight. Davis. Davis, step back. Pretty. I liked how he managed to pick and roll as a scorer. He loved to reject screens using those push crosses, put his defender in jail on his back, split a few, and he got to the basket into the pull up at a solid rate. The efficiency wasn't completely there, but many of the pieces were. Here's Davis a deep two. since it was four to two. And the Spartans on this nine to two run. Johnny Davis, there's the, for the second time. Here's Davis gets around drunk attacks. Here's his brother Johnny slicing through. Davis comes over, but because there was a clear possession, they can give the ball to Wisconsin as Davis takes a long step. I think he was actually a pretty solid playmaker despite the assist numbers. He's definitely not a point guard and probably won't be your primary ball handler, but he does have some secondary potential and is someone I'm very confident in making plays at a solid level given the spacing and caliber of guys he'd be around. Now it's somewhat difficult to gauge just how much of the negatives in this area were a function of the role and mindset Wisconsin had him in, or if they're just his deficiencies, but it's certainly a solid starting point. Well, Young scored 18 against Towson, tying a career high as four so far. Bowen underneath, shooting the ball at 73%. Pass over the top, great. Davis and Stewart, a little bump from Crowell into the corner. Was going for meeting. Took the win right out of the producer. <laughs> Davis, good pass to the corner. You can't make too big of assumptions or generalizations in terms of players' makeup unless you really spend time with them, but Johnny Davis's motor and competitiveness really pops. Even the nights he didn't have his best shooting performance, you weren't questioning the effort or assertiveness in any way, shape, or form, and I think that's a big deal. It doesn't always translate into the highest levels of success at the next level, but it certainly makes you more confident in them contributing. Jones, the handoff to Cal Shore. Here he comes looking for more. What a play. Here in East Lansing tonight, 70 to 62. Well, Johnny Davis in Wisconsin coming into a difficult environment and cutting out a win in a big Now to some areas he can improve, starting with three-point shooting. This is definitely the biggest swing factor in his game. He shot just a little under 31% on about four attempts this season, and he had a pretty high level of variance in the number of attempts he'd take, as one game he'd take just one, and then the next he'd be at seven. But there is reason for optimism given his catch and shoot numbers, the deep mid range, the free throws. But the growth he shows here will decide a fair amount of his success in the league. So back with an 8 0 run, and it's a 19 19 game. Could Davis change? Oh, Peter steal by Barry, but that leaves Davis wide open. Davis. Davis launches. Game due to help and safety protocols. Wildcats hope to have him back for this weekend as Davis. Davis up top, launches a three. And Johnny Davis. Step back, three, book it. Another one of the bigger concerns with Johnny Davis's game is his inability to consistently create a ton of space for himself on the perimeter and maybe relying on his strength in the mid-range jumper at a rate that might not hold up as well at the next level. Big 10 player of the week, Johnny Davis. Backing Sean Sutherland down and the paint is denied by Sutherland. Dude. One on one against McConnell. That's right. Davis pumping into McConnell. Jump quickly now to Davis. Davis 
Going inside, spinning, wild shot. He should definitely have an emphasis on tightening his handle and also more specifically getting to those counters way earlier than he did. There were times he'd try to drive hard in one direction and turn that corner just a little too long when he had to spin the behind the back or pull back there. He's got to be sharper in traffic, keep those eyes up in and out of moves just to continue improving in this area. Behind the back and he turned it over, didn't get it. Here's Davis on the other end. Drives on Coleman. Too strong for him. You can't back him down. A turnover. And to the shot selection, like we've mentioned, I think a lot of that had to do with the role that Wisconsin needed him to play. I do think it's still worth mentioning just given the jarring nature of some of these attempts, especially where they're at on the floor. I wouldn't really say I'm worried. I think being in an NBA system, simplifying some things and having a more spaced floor could naturally take a fair amount of this out, but he should still have an emphasis on making the right play and getting the best shot every possession. There are eight. NBA scouts on hands to Davis. Now here he is under 10 to shoot. Wall with a shoulder screen. Davis in the lane. A little bit of a late bloomer. Wisconsin never offered him, so you can bet he's here on scholarship this year. Davis driving right by his man, but misses. Johnny Davis getting to the basket. Wait for me, that's a clean block. I know his bloodline a little bit. I know how tough he is. Driving right into the half for Texas a and Reeves on the drop. Not allowing Davis to post up. Now he's attacking him on this end. Kelsher! NBA move. Jumping off the opposite foot. Ooh, points. Bolt has a pair of dunks. Here is Reeves. And just like that, the Badgers matching their largest lead. Brown, Boyd. And this is going to be a great matchup. Bryce McGowan's and Johnny Davis, two future pros right here. I think Johnny Davis is a definite lottery pick who I would consider in the top eight. At his best, I think he can reach that borderline all-star class who makes some noise in that area, you know, depending on the year. There aren't too many places in his sort of likely range that I'm in love with fit-wise, but I think spots like the Kings could work. Throwing him in that Pelicans rotation, you'd have no concerns about his three-point shot there. I even think that you can make the Knicks work too. In comparison wise, he reminds me of this intersection of like Josh Hart with elements of Chris Duarte's game. In the league. Bad <laughs> turnover here by Golden State. And Hart finished six from the field. Hart backs off. Jack Knight Ooh. against the Knicks Ooh. in 23. He makes a move similar to that. He was three of six from the field. Knicks, 8 26 to go, fourth quarter. Hart slanting in. Play double figures. It's six boards. Duarte. Duarte here. And a sprained left knee. That's a drive by Duarte. Oh. If at first you don't succeed, he tries and tries again. Johnny Davis has a fairly well rounded game at the two guard spot, and it's made him a near lock as a lottery pick. His developments as a shooter and overall creator will ultimately determine just how good of a player he becomes and the natural knack for making opponents work on both ends give him a good starting place and a potential reason to see good minutes early on in his career. O'Shea gonna be the first so I'll forever be the second Who rep Lamar Park is something you ain't got a question They like now I'm grown up better than we expect You can see the ball show